Heads up in the deep south, we are under the gun for significant severe weather on Wednesday, June 4th. That includes the risk for long track damaging tornadoes. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis. And in this video, we are going to pinpoint that severe risk, show you exactly who is under the gun for the worst of this severe weather. And again, that threat includes long track tornadoes on Wednesday, June 14th. I want to show you the high resolution future radar and break down the storm mode in terms of when the tornado threat is going to happen and give you an hour by hour look on when you're going to be under the biggest risk. And then talk about the hazards. We're going to look at the setup. And again, that does include damaging tornadoes, damaging wind and damaging hail. So all modes of severe weather are going to be possible. Hey, before we get into this video, if you want to stay up to date on the weather, you come to the right place. Hit that subscribe button. Again, we're in hurricane season. We got you covered there as well. So again, if you want to stay updated, you have to hit subscribe. Please do that. And if you find this content helpful, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot. All right, we're going to jump right into this now. The red area, you don't see this too often. Again, we are at level four out of five. So again, that means that significant severe weather is going to be likely really from extreme eastern Louisiana through the heart of Mississippi, right through Jackson, into Montgomery, into Albany, Georgia. Again, that red area there, that's at moderate risk, level 4 out of 5. Still significant severe weather is possible up towards Birmingham in that orange, that enhanced risk, southwest of Tupelo, south of Little Rock. That includes Shreveport. That extends all the way into Mobile, Alabama, Panama City, Florida, into Savannah, Georgia. Again, the risk is not zero in Atlanta, in Tupelo, in Little Rock. It's a little lower than that big bullseye area of orange and red. Still stay weather aware, but certainly the highest potential and the worst of the weather likely going to occur in that red area, in that moderate risk area. I want to show you this. This is the future radar now. This is going to start things off at about 1 o'clock Central, 2 o'clock Eastern. Again, we've had severe weather ongoing in the morning already. We're going to see another round come our way, and it's really going to be at this time, kind of in this area. And I'm going to show you this significant tornado threat area as outlined by the Storm Prediction Center. But here we go. Early into the afternoon, as this severe weather threat gets underway, we're going to have the opportunity for these discrete supercells. You see these little kidney bean-shaped guys on your screen here from Albany through an in and around Montgomery, even down towards the Florida-Alabama line here. We are going to have the opportunity for these to be isolated, to be discrete. When that happens, given the environment, we're going to have the opportunity for those to produce some pretty strong tornadoes, potentially stronger than EF2. We're going to get into that risk in just one second, taking you through 3, 4 o'clock. So now getting into the latter stages of Wednesday, June 14th. Look at this. We have all this bright purple and white, really from Atlanta through Montgomery and then down into extreme western Georgia. You see that flare up there of white. In purple that indicates some very intense thunderstorms now as we do get closer to dinner time the strong tornado threat goes down a little bit the tornado threat is still going to be there but when you start to get these storms kind of congealed like this in a complex or a cluster we can get these kind of quicker spin-ups they still do damage but the main threat by this time is going to be transitioning to a damaging straight line wind and a damaging hail threat certainly again a tornado threat is still there but maybe not those long EF2 plus, those long track EF2 plus tornadoes. So there you go, six, seven o'clock into your evening, still intense thunderstorms going on. So there you go towards 11 o'clock at night. I can't stress this enough. On a day like today, you'll hear me preach in just one second about the importance of this. But on a day like today, there's 11 o'clock. Make sure that you have a way to get your warnings, especially if you go to bed prior to that, because. You need to be alerted when there's certainly when there is a strong tornado threat present like there is today on Wednesday, June 14th. There's Thursday morning. There's midnight, 1 a.m. Nasty storms rolling through the Florida Panhandle into the Big Bend through Tallahassee. If those stay together, those are going to head towards Jacksonville. Look at this. We're not done. Several rounds of severe weather are coming. That's the other important thing to note. So there you go at 8 o'clock on Thursday, June 15th. We have another round of storms developing. This is going to impact the Florida Panhandle. Potential for tornadoes is going to be here as well. Still, southwest Georgia, we are under the gun. Heads up again in Tallahassee a little bit later on in the morning. Those that follow the Storm Prediction Center, those that like to kind of nerd out about the weather and do follow severe weather risks, know what the hatched area means. 
basically here in this yellow shaded area that includes Montgomery, that includes Richland, Albany, Georgia, into Monroeville, Alabama, just to the Florida-Alabama line, knows that that's a heightened risk. When you have these lines here, this hatched area, as it's referred to from the Storm Prediction Center, that means that not only do we have a heightened opportunity for tornadoes, but in that yellow shaded area, we have the opportunity for those stronger tornadoes. EF2 are stronger, and those ones that can travel great distances. So when you see that hatched area, especially with that yellow color, that means we really need to be paying attention. I showed you that timestamp early in the afternoon. This is a day, so if you're watching from that area, western Georgia, into Alabama, even the panhandle of Florida, that you may need to think about altering your plans. Don't be driving out into the early stages of the afternoon. And make sure that you're paying close attention to what your school, if you have kids, is putting out. This is the kind of day where elementary schools may be held back from dismissal because it's too dangerous to have buses and kids out on the roadways. And it's too dangerous for parents to go pick up their kids. If you follow this channel long enough, you know I don't blow things out of proportion. You know I hate height. It's one of the reasons why we are on here because there's a lot of misinformation on YouTube when it comes to the weather. This is one of the days, again, that you need to think about altering your plans or at least make sure that you are fine-tuned into your trusted source, your local news source, your local news app to make sure you can get those warnings and to make sure that you know Again, when it's safe to get outside because you don't want to be caught on the roads in a situation where you have the potential for some long track tornadoes. I told you I was going to preach, but I just want to make it clear how significant this severe weather threat is today. And again, I don't say about altering your plans or thinking about altering your plans often, but I just want to be clear about that. Here is the overall setup. Again, we have this upper level system that's kind of draped across parts of the Mississippi River Valley into the deep south. We have the westerly winds blowing across. We have these little upper lows, these little impulses that kind of slide on through from time to time. As we have that happening, it helps to kick up some storms. And that's what we're going to see today. So we have the upper level winds out of the west and southwest. Out of the surface, they're more southerly and southeasterly. And you see that risk area there again, that red area, that level four out of five. So that is going to be your highest opportunity for severe weather. It's where things are coming together, the instability, that humidity, that fuel for those thunderstorms. If you go outside, you know what I'm talking about in these areas. And again, we're going to have that upper level energy to help to dictate where we're going to have that highest storm potential. And again, that's going to be running from about Louisiana into southern Arkansas, all the way into North Florida, into West Georgia, and then right smack dab in the heart of Alabama and Mississippi. Please, I can't stress enough, make sure that you are staying weather aware. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much. Again, please let me know where you are tuning in from. Post that in the comment section below. Again, we would love to know where you're tuning in from. If you found this video helpful or informative, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help us out a lot. And if you do love staying in, tra and staying in tune with the weather, tracking the weather, all of that stuff, please consider hitting subscribe. That'd be awesome to have you guys along for the ride. Thanks so much for tuning in.